Uh, welcome to Conversation with a Socialist. Uh, this is my commentary for the last couple of days um, and the news that uh, has been coming out. Uh, I read that Pelosi was um, reaffirmed as Speaker of the House. I think that's I think that's a mistake because Pelosi has proven to not be as no more a leader than Democrat Schultz was uh, during night. Like, however long she was uh, DNC uh, uh, top woman. Um, and in fact, one thing one thing they both have in common is they both oversaw uh, quite a few people lose their elections. Um, to Republicans um, because they just like with uh, Nancy Pelosi um, Mitch McConnell had a a moderate Democrat to go against and he he whooped her butt Pelosi had a um, supposed progressive um, and she whooped his butt um, Chuck Schumer will be having a Green Party candidate against him and uh, at Kate, at, at Congress Kate, uh, Kate uh, uh, Tomasello, out uh, of New York, obviously. Um, look her up as far as the part goes. Uh, also, uh, in case you didn't hear uh, my podcast, which you should, that's uh, anchor.fm slash combine socialism, I spoke with Justin Paglino out of Connecticut, who ran for the U.S. Senate uh, November 3rd of this year. Uh, he lost that, um, but he is. But he he said he gave me an exclusive and said that he was running again in 2022. Uh, I asked him during that same interview, if during his time, just so he can get his name out uh, more, uh, if he was going to help out other Green Party who uh, may be um, running in 2022. Um, and I believe he said that he was uh, going to probably do some to that effect. Um, I think that every uh, every Green Party that lost their prospective elections should go around and not only because it would help other Green Party members who are going for elections in 2022, but also it would uh, up their own stock. Um, because the more uh, Green Party uh, membership uh, and candidates are seen and heard and the message is out there for people to hear and people to accept or people to at least research it, um, the more likely that the name recognition will be built up, the more the message will be out there and built up, the more um, more likelihood of, of, a, of a, a DNC and the RNC taking the Green Party more seriously other than trying to keep them off of the ballot, bo- ballot box or out of the ballot box, excuse me. Um, we also need to make sure that Green Party, or Green Choice Voting, I should say, Green Choice Voting as a whole need to be implemented and on the ballot and voting in every state in this union. And if you want a free, fair elections, um, Green Choice Voting or something of that of that ilk uh, is the only way that's gonna happen. Uh, Maine had it for not only for the presidential but also for their uh, Senate or yeah um, down ballot uh, it doesn't matter who won in regards to that because obviously we didn't as far as the bar goes uh, I'm not an official green member but I support them obviously I support socialists obviously um, I say I'm a lot but that's not the point um, is I wanted to uh, Go th- go through what socialism is in a business sense, because uh, courses dot pretty much uh, luminlearning dot com has uh, socialism and uh, basically it has uh, the key takeaways what, what you get from it and um, I think let me go down here if I can. Let's see all the way down uh, learning objectives, key takeaways, and stuff of that nature. I think it's, um, where is it? Uh, there's like a, there's like a key thing to it that like, uh, what is better, what about capitalism is better than, you know, the socialism sort of thing. But anyway, um, so key takeaways, I've done it before, but it's been a while since I've done it. So I'm going to do it again, 
and I'll probably, probably keep doing it as far as the park goes until midterms. So, anyway, uh, planning economy is a type of ec again, it's key points, and I believe this is socialism. A planned economy is a type of economy consisting of a mixture of public ownership of the means of production and the or coordination of production and distribution through state planning. Socialism has many variations depending on the level of planning versus market power, the organization of management, and the whole and the role of the state. In, socialism, in a socialist system, this is important, production is geared toward satisfying economic demands and human needs. Distribution of this output is based on the individual contribution. Socialists distinguish between a planned economy such as one of the former Soviet Union and the socialist economies. They often compare the former to a top-down theocracy capitalist firm. Another key, uh, another key terms. Socialism, any of, any of the various economic and political philosophies that support social equality, collective decision-making, distribution of income based on a contribution and public ownership of production of capital and natural resources as advocated by a socialist. Planning economy. An economy, uh, economic, I'm sorry, an, an economic system in which government directly manages supply and demand for goods and services by controlling production prices and distribution in accordance with a long-term design and schedule and objectives. Now, Here's another thing. Every time I ask a candidate or someone involved in politics, I always I always say to them, uh, in order to get a Medicare for all, it seems to me they have to at least open up the window of opportunity on that by um, rewriting the legislation of Medicare Part D. Medicare Part D was written by Nancy Pelosi herself and someone else on the on the Republican side. It basically, the, the basic takeaway from that is, the government is not is not in any position to renegotiate down prices of pharmaceuticals. Basically, giving pharmaceuticals every advantage they can need. They can um, they can basically c uh, control the prices. Uh, therefore, they control the how much a person has to pay, just, just to pay for their prescription, and the government is supposed to come in and subsidize that through non-negotiable means. Anyway, uh, let's see. Planned economy. A planned economy is a type of economy that consists of a mixture of. I already read that. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Uh, economic planning is a social, socialism take, takes a different term, a form uh, than economic planning. And capitalism mixed economies and social and socialism planning refers to production of use of value, directing planning of, produ of production. While in capitalist and mi uh, mixed economies, planning from refers to the design of the capital accumulation in order to stabilize, uh, stabilize or increase the efficiency of its process. While many uh, socialists adv advocate for economic planning as it is eventual substitution for the market for factors of production, others define economic planning as being based on worker self-management with production being carried out to directly satisfy human needs. Enrico Barone provided a comprehensive theoretical framework for a planned socialist economy in his model. A semi-perfect co computation techniques uh, simulate uh, simulate uh, uh, equations relating inputs and outputs in two uh, ratios of equivalence would provide appropriate valuation in order to balance supply and demand. The command economic is dis uh, distinguished from economic planning. Most notably, a command economy in, is associated with the bu bureaucracy, collectiveness, collectivism, state capitalism, or state socialism. 
Socialism, socialism is an economic system characterized by social ownership, control of means of production, and cooperative management of the country of the economy. A socialist economy system would consist of organization of production to direct uh, directly satisfy economic demands and human needs, so that goods and services would be produced directly by the use instead of for private profit, driven by the accumulation of capital. Accounting would be based on physical quantities, uh, a common t- physical magnitude, or a direct measure of labor time. Distribution of output would be based on the principle of individual contribution. Those are many variations of socialism, as such as there is no single definition uh, encap- encapsulating all of socialism. They offer in the type of socialist ownership they advocate, the, the degree to which they are, re, they rely on market versus planning, um, how management is to be organized within economic sup- uh, enterprises, and the role of the state in uh, constructive socialism. Uh, see, the advantage of socialism is really to social equality include a focus on in reducing wealth disparity and dis- disparities, unemployment and inflation through price controls. Advantages of socialism related to economic planning, including an ability to make good use of land, labor, and resources, as well as avoiding excess or insufficient production. And the benefits of socialism, nationalization of key institutions, of redistribution of wealth, and social security schemes, minimum wage, wages, unemployment protection, and trade union organization rights. Key terms, public benefits, a payment made in accordance with the insurance policy or public assistance scheme, redistribution, the act of change and distribution of resources. So basically, instead of having capitalist or big business or, you know, say Jeff Bezos owning everything, under a socialist um, economy, uh, with progressive taxes, more uh, the more of the uh, labor force would benefit from those taxes that they pay into the system. Um, but with the tax rate right now, like say for instance, I've been looking this up more and more. Um, places like the Netherlands that Bernie Sanders used to, uh, well, he used to love to uh, uh, invoke uh, Norway. Um, Netherlands have a 58% tax rate. Under that same rate, everybody in uh, the Netherlands uh, gets uh, free basic health care and free basic education. Uh, the only portion of the educational system you have to pay for is if it's a private school. There, they can charge however much they want in regards to tuition. But even their minimum wage is like, um, well, to them, eight bucks an hour is like our, like 25 bucks an hour, something like that. That's ex- that's pretty much, if you look at uh, $8 and compare it to $8, and their money compared to USD, that's about right. So you come here, you work here, you pay taxes there, you you get pretty good in regards to what we get back from over there. So I think we should really look into a socialist slash capitalist market. That's my point of view. And from what I can see, um, actually Netherlands, uh, someone I've been watching a little bit said that the Netherlands is indeed a socialist country because the majority of the things that come out for people from taxes are is basically socialist policies, socialist statutes, social, uh, social, uh, socialist um, federal law. I mean, uh, you, yeah, I mean, you can look it up yourself. You don't have to go with the Venezuela, the Cuba, that bullshit. You can look it up yourself on uh, courses.lumislearning.com or look at the noun version of socialism. That's actually the policies, that's actually the laws that would be in place for such a system. I thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please uh, contribute or donate to paypal.me slash uh, Cabal Leftist, uh, GAP Network, 
Um, follow me on Instagram on on um, um, uh, subscribe to YouTube. Sorry, subscribe to YouTube. Uh, YouTube dot uh, dot com slash user slash J E R A L T A Y L O R. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter as well. Anyway, I thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy this bonus. This is the first bonus I've actually done for this channel. Um, and look for me also on Change the System Network. Uh, I have like at least six videos up there already. So, but I appreciate you watching. I hope you like my content and I hope you uh, share this, tweet this, um, support this in any way you can. I thank you very much and I hope you have a good night. Peace out for now.